Didn't you say that you had met Richard Thompson? Yeah, we, we wrote a couple of things together years and years ago. When I was, uh, I, I went to England and got hooked up with uh, Rondor Music, which is really Almo Irving, Irving Almo. It was really strange. I had a, a whole bunch of songs and I was, I was a free agent. And so, and I found out about publishing. And uh, so, I, but I didn't know where to go. Well, in Nashville, I was too country for Nashville. I mean, you can't believe it. And so they had uh, Alma Irving publishers there. And so, well, I went to uh, LA and um, they have Irving Alma <laughs> in LA, it's the same company, but they switched the names around. <laughs> Well, and, and I was too country for them, too country for that. Well, I wound up going to England uh, not long after, and uh, the, oh, his name escapes me. Roger Greenaway? No, the, the guy that wrote uh, the stuff with Eric Clapton, you know, finished off oh, some yeah. of his songs. You know. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, what a great writer he is. But, uh, sorry, my brain locked for a second. Anyway, he told me, it'll come to me, <clears throat> and always does, but he said, when you go to England, <clears throat> look up Rondor Music and go in and see Stuart Hornell and uh, Tom, I can't remember Tom's last name. Anyway, they're the heads of the company. And I said, oh, cool. And so I really wasn't really like shopping, you know. I was in England, going to stay for a while. And so I went in to see them, and <clears throat> they listened to like one song or two songs, and then he was looking at all the titles, and there was a Scottish guy, it was really difficult to understand, and uh, he was looking at, Stuart Hornell was his name, he was a good man, uh, but uh, he, he uh, listened to like one song, he put another one on, and I had about you know, 10 or 11 songs, and uh, he just stopped it, and I said, well, I guess this is it, you know. <laughs> so I, I said, it's cool, I'm, I'm good with everything. He said, what do you want? You know, name your, name your price. Oh, wow. I went, really? He said, oh, I said, I'm going to have to think on it, you know. But he said, do that, and get back with me. And they were really good, you know. I, I wrote... I wrote a, a, a lot of songs with a lot of different people. They introduced me to a whole bunch of folks. and uh, Who were some of the people that they were introducing you to? Well, what's his name? We just talked oh, about Oh, Richard Thompson. Yeah, Richard Thompson. I would think Thompson. that's the kind of, he was willing to write with people? I guess so. I don't know. I didn't know who he was. I just <laughs> thought he was. Some, <laughs> you didn't know who he some, was. No. Uh, uh, so I, I what did you write with Richard Thompson? Oh. Uh, I can't remember. There's a couple of songs. We recorded them at his house. And, uh, Richard, I came back into town because they had the house in, in, in Wargrave. And so it's easy for me, you know. I just drive into town and back out. But I didn't know he was like some famous. I knew that he, he, had, you know, he was notoriety. But I'm not up on everybody. Never had been up on everybody. I'm too busy doing whatever it is I'm doing at the moment. Right. You know, I'm never we don't own a television, stereo, never had one in all this nearly 20 years. Don't plan on having any time. It's just something else to distract, you know. And uh, So I don't know who all these people are, you know. Right. Uh, well, let me ask uh, you about, uh, I want to go, go back to, uh, to George. When you were, you yeah. and George were hanging out and being, you were together quite a lot. And he took you out to, you know, some restaurants and yeah, things like yeah. that. Can, can you tell me about where you guys would go to? Uh, I want to say it's the Tandoori Ashikai in uh, London. Uh, and, and he and Patty and I went there several times. But uh, that's where I was introduced to them. some real hot peppers. It, made a, it felt like a pin in the top of my head. And then my ears started ringing. <laughs> And the sweat broke out, and that milk didn't cool down nothing. <laughs> I gotta tell you Sorry, right I'm now. Laughing. But uh, yeah, it was pretty cool, you know, hanging out with him. And, uh, 
you know, we had some good talks and stuff. I, I, I wasn't, I, I, I'll never forget this. Because, see, I wasn't there for, I didn't want anything from anybody, you know. I was there to give and be a part of, you know. And then when he was, and Patty were still in that, uh, the gatehouse, uh, we're, he and I were in the dining room area. It was not a very big house. I'm talking, it's, you know, like the size of this house or something. And, uh, uh, but uh, he was digging around. It had some of these built-in drawers, uh, you know, great big long drawers like that in the dining room. That's where like, people keep dishes and cloths and stuff like that. Well, this was full of, like, I want to hold your hand, 45, and gold. <laughs> and all of these, all these gold and platinum albums and awards. And I said, that's great, man. That's a great place to have all of that. I got great respect for that, you know. Did and, he talk uh, about those records and, and the Beatles at all? Did he talk to you about yeah, that? Yeah, well, he was still going through... A uh, 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 breakup. I mean, there was attorneys Transition. involved. And I want to play those. Sue me, sue you, blues. That was about what was going on in his world at that moment. You know, I was there. As a matter of fact, I played on that uh, uh, song. But uh, I was, he was going through a lot of stuff, a lot of turmoil. You know. Uh, and didn't he tell you about how what he was making on the Beatles? Songs? Yeah, uh, they split a penny, a one pence. They, that's what they why, split. The why? queen got the rest of it, all right? And that was their tax you thing. Tax, but I mean, taxes. He said you're going to have to pay somebody sometime. And he says I love I love my home here, right. so it wasn't about money, you know. I mean, when he had when he got Friar Park, he didn't pay million pounds for it. It was something like you know 150 thousand pounds, which wasn't a whole lot of money. Uh, even then, you know. But uh, that wasn't what it was about with him, you know. It really well, of course wasn't. Not. Yeah. Oh, and one day he said, um, it was in the guest house, and uh, one day he said, uh, the mailman came, you know, brought a little package like this. And he said, cool, let's, let's listen to this, you know. He opened it up, and uh, I said, who is it? And he said, just listen to it. You don't want to know what you think about it. And it goes, I'll get my coat and do, 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 It's another day. Bum, 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 bum. Another day. Do, 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 do. He said, you know who that is? I said, no, I don't. I didn't think much, very much of it, you know, the song. And he said, that's Paul. <clears throat> I said, same guy that wrote Yesterday, <laughs> and Revolution, and all these incredible songs. And he's singing about getting his coat and hat, hanging it on the... <laughs> no. Uh, I think he was, uh, respected my honesty and my innocence, you know, uh, well, yeah, I mean, you were pretty new to the whole I was to the new whole to that business, whole thing. And it I was, think everybody knew that. It was an accident for me. It really was, because right. I went over to hang out with Eric for a couple of weeks just to get my head cleared out, putting a band together with him. I didn't even... That was the last thing on my mind. Well, he mind. must have recognized in you what he was like when, you know, in the beginning. Very innocent. Those guys didn't yeah, know anything. Yeah, yeah. You learn along the way. That's the only way it's ever going to work for you. You know, and if you don't try, and if you don't get out, what I don't care what it is you do, if you don't get out there and express yourself, and you know, be true to yourself, uh, it's 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 easy. You got to get out there and do that to really know? live life. To really live a full life, you do know, you think it's that, not about money or position or think, anything like that. Do you think that you've lived a full life? Yeah, then some. You know, I've got a whole new life now. You know, uh, partial thanks to you, my love, you know, for <laughs> getting me started painting. I have a whole, whole new life. It's incredible. But you're not going to quit playing and singing. No, hell no. I will never quit playing and singing and writing songs. You were born to All sing. All this did, yeah. All this did was uh, uh, broaden my, my spectrum, my horizons, you know. When, which, you were, when you were in the studio with George, did... 
Did he, he call on you for to do things? And no, no. He did whatever I wanted, whatever I heard I could do. Hanging bells, pump organ. Was he happy about that when he heard these things? Did he get excited yeah, to listening yeah. to, not just you, but to everybody? Was he excited? Yeah, about? I mean, and, you know, Eric and I came up with all the, the harmonies, you know, for the... Oh. The Pope on 61%. I mean, all these chanting the name of the Lord. Right. I mean, we made our own harmonies up. We did our own thing, you know. The only one uh, George had was uh, 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 My Sweet Lord. And then I, <clears throat> I'm singing second part harmony, on, and he's singing the, the melody. And then he came back and put the whole choir of uh, his voice, you know, probably 30 times. I wonder why he chose to do that and not have other people singing. I don't know. I, 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 it's unusual. I, he was exploring own. different avenues, like slide, and, and I mean, he and, and his voice, and uh, you know, I mean. Well, you know, talking about exploring different avenues, when you were doing your solo records, you were exploring different avenues. Yeah, yeah. I was just, I mean, my, I was doing vocal acrobatics, and I was free to do anything. So I was just singing whatever would you go the hell back, I felt like. Would you do those again? Are you happy with those records? Yeah, yeah. Uh, there were just things, uh, steps along the way. I wouldn't ever. I, I'm not. I never looked back. You know? And you had you had the guys from Derek and the Dominoes. You know, of course, Eric and. Yeah, yeah. And well, those Jim are out, so I wouldn't know why why I would want to do them again. I can't reproduce well, we that. Wanted, you know? Well, like George wanted to go back and redo his record without the wall of sound and that. Yeah, kind of yeah. Thing. No, I'm uh, I'm good with everything because all of those. Things that I've done in, in my life, uh, uh, and that includes uh, just want to see his face. I heard that today, just kind of a fluke. But uh, what was this one? Blind boys from Alabama did it. I just want to see his face. Mm -hmm. Kind of ironic, you know. They're they're all blind, <laughs> so I had to check it out. Well, then I had the other one, you know, come on. And uh, do, 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 come, bum, dee, 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 dee. and uh, it's, it's my thing, you know. <laughs> oh, absolutely. But all of this stuff was like uh, a part of my makeup, you know, uh, who I am. All these things that I've ever done in every place I've ever been and everyone I've ever known are a part of, the, the, uh, of, of who Bobby Whitlock is. This person that's sitting here just, and it's just flowing out, you know. It's always different. Why were you not on uh, Got to Get Better? Oh, it was, they were doing a lot of complicated stuff on our second album. Yeah. Yeah, they were doing a lot of complicated stuff, and it was almost like a, a battle <laughs> between Eric and Jim Gordon or something. I do not know. That was a personal thing between them. Uh, eventually, Jim Gordon broke the band up right after those sessions. But uh, I, uh, it was... I had to lay out. I said, "Y'all do this without me." You know, I'll well, come back and it do was my that part. Bad. Yeah, it was like, oh my, you know, <clears throat> where, where am I going to finish? And it was like all this stuff. I was like, damn, you know. Even Carl was going, <laughs> you know, like, what the hell's going on here? You know. Was it kind of a battle between Eric and? It and was. You know, they have some uh, kind of like guitar or drum thing happening. I do not know. I decided to step on out of the way because I couldn't. You know, I'm a real, you know, meat and potato basic player, and these guys are real, real prolific and expert and experts with their. their I started to say weapons because <laughs> that's what they were treating them like anyway that <laughs> night. But uh, oh, the band broke up. And so I, you know, like the next day, the band broke up, and uh, I never got to do it <laughs> until uh, what? Uh, five, six, Ten, what seven it? years ago. I don't know, five, six, seven. Yeah, here and <laughs> they asked me to go back and do my part. Yeah, I, and I, actually, I really enjoyed doing that. Went out to Willie's place and Pedro and Alice, and uh, hearing that track without me playing and singing on it, and then he, hearing it when I, when I got through. It was like, yeah, I know, I, I know the role I played in that band. You know, it, it, it would have definitely been incomplete without me and, and, and my input. It sounds empty. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Sounds like that night, you know. 